Okay, this tutorial is going to show you how to upload a new header or any kind of header to your uh, WordPress website. If you go into your FTP program, you'll need to log in to your website, whatever that may be, find the file itself. In this case, I have header.png. Now, you might have .jpg or .gif or whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to also show you, I'm going to have to make adjustments to this within the theme uh, files. So this will be a kind of a two-part video. Um, log in and what I've already done is connected to my website itself. Now here is the things that you should see if you've if you've um, installed WordPress correctly. Go to public HTML folder. You'll want to go to wp-content. You'll want to go to the themes folder. That's where the look of the website resides. Now you may have um, uploaded some different themes, but in this case I did, and I'm using ProSense Blue. And within that folder you'll find an images file and any of themes file. Now I already have a header in this particular website, and it's a header.jpg. JPG. So I'm going to upload my new one, and what I'll do is I'll go in the themes file and I'll change because I do need to change the size of the header as well and I'll show you how to do that. So this will be a two-part video. Let's get that uploaded. Okay, while that's uploading, okay, you see it's in there now and I'll be right back and we'll be in the uh, admin panel for WordPress and I'll show you how to change uh, the, theme, the theme file so that it points to this header. Okay, I'm now inside my uh, WordPress admin panel, and once you log in, you come to the, um, what you need to do is click on design, and you'll see the current theme that you're using. In this case, I'm using uh, ProSense Blue. So what I'm going to do now is change the name of the file within the CSS file. So I'm going to point the CSS to a different header file the one I just uploaded. Okay, so click on Design, click on Theme Editor. And you'll see all the different PHP files over on the right here, and I'm going to find the one that you'll want to edit. Now the thing about WordPress is it's all set up to where it draws a whole bunch of files together, mainly PHP files. But there is a style sheet file and that's the style.css and that's that's short for cascading style sheets. The CSS file is the one we want to change. And I'll give you a word of warning, be careful when you change things in the CSS file. You might want to save your original uh, because what this does is it determines every setting you put in here determines how your website will look or how this theme will look anyway. Every theme has its own style sheet and that file is style.css. So I'm going to go in and change. I'm going to scroll down here. It's not very far. You'll see some of the body uh, and the page settings. You can see the width is 950. Okay, so I'm going to go down to header. There it is right there. The width is 100%. The background is black. The height right now is two four, or 140, but I want to make it 240. So I'm going to change it to 240. And as I mentioned earlier on, I uploaded a PNG file. So I'm going to change this to PNG. And that's still in the images folder within the ProSense theme. That's about all I should have to change. Now scroll down and be sure to save this or update the settings. You can see there's a lot uh, of settings that makes this website look the way it does. Okay, here's the update file right there. So I'm going to update it. It's always at the bottom left corner. Okay, now my site should look the way I want it to with that new header. Let's take a look. Let 
may have to refresh the page and that's what I just did there. Okay, it looks like it's calling that up. I'm not sure if it's working or not. You can refresh the page by pressing F5. Okay, it's not showing up, so I'll be right back and I'll show you how to fix that. Okay, I found that everything looked good, but my header wasn't showing up, so there had to be a problem. So I'm back in the theme editor. Now this is typical, and I wanted to get this on video because a lot of times you're going to have things that don't work, but you just have to figure out what's wrong. A lot of times what's wrong is um, simply that you typed in the wrong path to the file itself, and what I found was that was the case. So I went back and I looked, uh, I, what I did was, I'll go down to header here, show you exactly what I did, so if you have this problem, you can fix it. Now what I put in was images slash capital header dot capital PNG. Well I looked in the file inside my FTP program and it was small case PNG. Okay, so we're going to go down. So I'm used to this kind of thing. Always something going on. So update the file now and it should be fine. You saw that the width was fine. I did change the, uh, the height, I mean to 240 and it looked like it had changed that but it did, it did not call up that file because I had the wrong I had capital letters not small case. Now let's go and see if that header is there. Let's cross our fingers. There we go and there it is. Okay there's the new header. So you see um, Hopefully that helped you know how to do that. Uh, be sure to watch that you are careful when you change that CSS file, that styles, style.css. Hope that helped, and uh, that's all for now.